stamps. Today I'm going to be making two rainbow thank you cards using the slimline hanging ornaments die. Hey crafty people, it's Tasha here, welcome back to my channel. If you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed, I would love it if you'd please consider hitting that button. So this is a slimline sized die, cuts those circles out and you also get these other two little dies to be like ornament toppers um, but I wanted to show you how you can use this for so much more than just Christmas cards. I'm also using the Slimline Rainbow Brights paper pack um, and I've cut a circle out of seven of the cardstocks in that pack so I'm just showing you here rather than cutting the whole die from each colour I just cut some little off cuts and taped them in place and ran that through my die machine. So here are my seven circles and um, decided I wanted to use the stripey side for all of them um, and because I've cut that die from a lot like white cardstock five six times I think I've got quite a lot of those little circles left over so I'm just using those behind some of these rainbow ones just to give them all a different height so I've mixed it up some I've not got I've only just got the one behind others I've got quite a lot just to give a little bit of interest and depth so my favorite way to do this if I'm sticking like die cut inlay um, is to just tape a piece of printer paper to the back of my panel um, and then that's not going to add any bulk or dimension that I don't want to add um, and it's just an easy and quick way of doing it so I'm just adding some glue into each of the little holes and then I'm popping my rainbow pieces in in order um, and I really like that they're all sort of different heights there's quite a lot of interest there so this is the Simply Sentimental Thanks set um, which is one of the new stamp sets um, and I'm just auditioning various of those thanks um, words, the different large ones, to see which one I want to use for my panel. So I chose this really fun, swoopy, swirly kind of one, um, and I'm stamping it with some WOW embossing ink onto some vellum. And then I'm going to add this. This is also WOW um, Disco Ball embossing glitter. It's gorgeous. <laughs> So I've heat set that um, from behind so that I don't blow all of that glitter away. Um, and then I actually stamped it again. I left, because I left the stamp in my Misty, I can do that. Um, I stamped it again to add another layer of the embossing just to help it give it a bit of more lift. Um, and because it's kind of a very tone on tone look, um, just to help that stand out a little bit more. And then I've grabbed my scissors um, because I don't have the die for this set on hand. So I've just grabbed some little scissors and I'm just going to fussy cut around that. It's not difficult to fussy cut, so that's not a problem. And I've added some tiny dots of adhesive behind the embossing so that it's not going to show through the vellum. And I'm just going to stick that straight onto my panel. I chose to stick it there because the orange one... Um, doesn't have any added dimension so it's going to stick down nicely. I've then grabbed these sequins and I can't remember the name I'm sorry but I will add it below and I'm just choosing some places to put put some sequins just because it's calling back to the circles of that design and also the glitter in the Thanks, and then that's that card done. So next I've got another of the white die cuts and I'm adding lots of glue, being careful that I glue around each of those circles and then also all the way around the edge. And then I'm just gluing that straight down onto some acetate, making sure that I press really well because I'm making a shake here. So you want to make sure that it's really, everything's really well adhered. So I just put, put that to the side and added the paper pack and 
stamped just a few bits that I had on my desk on top just while that dries. Next, rather than using foam tape, I decided to cut out another three of those die cuts from some white cardstock and I'm just gluing those together. Again, making really sure that I've got glue going around all of those little circles so that I get um, the because each of those are going to be separate little wells. So I've trimmed out the acetate from the top one and then I'm adding that stack of three extra die cuts on top. So I've got one die cut, then acetate and then three. So that's going to give me all those little circles as little wells that I'm going to add some shaker bits to. So I'm adding some more of those, I think they're like starlight sequins, something like that, to each of those little wells. Um, and then using just a little craft spoon that I've got, I'm adding some of these little tiny star embellishments. I love these in shaker cards. They're so beautiful. They're so thin and small, so they really shake well. I'm then adding more glue. Again, a lot of this project was glue, <laughs> not gonna lie. Again, making sure I really got around each of those circles. And then I'm adding the acetate back on. Um, and this double acetate technique is one that I got from Cassie and it works so well. It's It just makes things so much easier. Trim that acetate out. And then now, because those shaker bits are all already enclosed, I can really take my time to decide where I'm going to place that on this pattern paper. So I've just marked out how big it is on there just so that I can trim it down so I'm not wasting any paper. Um, and then I'm going to add that to that rainbow piece. And I really love that you've got the rainbow going across there through all of the different shaker windows. It's really cute. I love it. I really, I really love it. So I decided to be brave and stamp um, this sort of scripty thank you straight onto my card. But I did use a Misty, thank goodness. <laughs> so I took the foam pad out of my Misty because obviously this is now quite thick with all those layers. And I'm just going to keep stamping and pressing it down with my um, stamp press tool until I get a, a stamp that I'm, I'm happy with. So there's a couple of little bits that weren't quite brilliant, but I just grabbed a black fine liner and, and just touched that up and you'd never know. So I did some more of those same sequins as well, just dotted about. Um, and I love these cards. I think they're fun. They're different. Um, I love this die for shakers and I know I'm going to use it a whole bunch for that. Um, and now I have another two thank you cards that we can send out to people who got us gifts this season. So I hope you like them. I hope you like the video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, and I would like to say thank you for the last six months. I have absolutely adored being on this team. Um, but this is my last video as a Trinity Design Team member, um, but I will be sharing my love of Trinity still, um, so be sure to still tune in to catch that. <laughs> I hope that you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.